Hello there, I am Fingered in the Forest, aka Lee, and today I'm doing some hunting on the Val de Bar with two very good friends of mine, Michael and Bjorn. Hello, bro. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, we're going to be using a few different coolers today. Uh, the first cooler I'm going to use is the, the Red Deer cooler. And then we're also going to take with us the Predator Jack Rabbit cooler. And then the, the Roe Deer. Weapons of choice today, 10 point carbon fusion crossbow. And then last but not least, my absolute favorite, the Parker Python. And that's us set, we're ready to rock and roll. Are you guys ready for this? Oh yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get this music turned down. We'll head off on the Val de Bois. Are we ready? Yep. Right, so now we've got, got the introduction out of the way. Good job there. Sweet. Are you streaming, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hold on, hold on, let's go. <laughs> Yawn, yawn, wait for me. <laughs> you got no idea how good that looks from my perspective, <laughs> it's so funny. Right, so plan of action, if I stop walking, is we're going to start off by heading down the path where I've drawn a line. Usually I'll split off here, got to the troll pods as I call them, tripods for a little while, and then we can always have a little skirt around the edge of there. You can go up and back around like a loop, and then head off up river. This is for red deer. Uh, the best areas I found is, is sort of here. You get them coming in from the back and down from the side, and a lot of fox there as well. Roe deer tend to come in from this direction, but we shall see. We'll see what we find. Right. What's he doing I behind me? Perfume on. <laughs> I can just do. It. Is that your perfume? Is it? has to be perfume. You've mentioned skirts, so I thought like might get lucky. I'm trying not to laugh. Right, okay. <laughs> wow, let's head and down. And also, and also, we never hunt without. Yay! <laughs> Was that in case you That's get hot? That's our SOS message. <laughs> That's SOS. Yeah. Lee. Yeah. John, where are you? I oh, see here. <laughs> it's a visual thing. Even if I lay down. I can still, yeah, I, I get it. Do it again, Bjorn. Where are you, Bjorn? I'm over here. <laughs> and then a goose lands on your face. Right, let's put a couple of calls out there. I just heard a red deer. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. Now the game begins. Pick up a call there from the Mal Red Deer. That's, it's on the way as well. Look at that. Oh, nice marking skills there, whoever that was. You're welcome. Mine was slightly off. Who's going to take the first You attempt? are. You are, Mr. Bjorn. This can be your kill. You want to be like a 198 or something. Or a 298. And after I finish tracking that, I'll meet you at the troll pods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a really nice game, this, isn't it? The texture in the game itself, movement. It's so relaxing playing this. Nothing more relaxing than shooting innocent animals through the head with a crossbow. Yeah. Right, where was it's that? Could then? Just down to the right here. It'll be coming up this hill, so if we could set up maybe up towards where Bjorn is. Yeah, we'll there's a nice coming up the hill. There's a nice rock up there to perch on. Just 
Trying to get an extreme close up of Bjorn's crutch. <laughs> Look, damn. Hi, Bjorn. Right, anyway. Where are we looking? She's pretty much going to come down or up from the way the path's going down, provided he comes up for the call. Well, if you come back up here, look, there's a couple of rocks to lay down flat here. We can get up onto this flat area for a good shot. It's a pretty good shot from here as well. Not too downhill. No, if we can get up on this one, I think you might go to. I see him. I see him. I'm getting down. That's not Where a bad it? one. I'm literally on the footpath. I'm going to mark him. Oh, for I you. see him. That's oh. oh, it's a baby, but. Oh, it's going to be about one, one forty-ish. Yeah, I'd say one fifty, one sixty. The score says one to one ninety. I marked him up for you, Bjorn. Yep, do you want me to call him towards me? See so yeah. if you can get a broadside of him. Perfect. I'm going to slide more to the left so we have a side shot. Okay. Yep. He can smoke my perfume. <laughs> you don't like it. Got him approximately 50 meters out now, Bjorn. 70. Oh, 48. 48. Can I go for it? Yeah, if you're happy to. 37 meters from me. Let me mark it again. 30 meters now. Beautiful shot there. Yeah, he's getting quite close now. What the? <laughs> Trace around. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. They look quite Didn't cool. Did he drop? Yeah, he's down in one. Good job, Bjorn. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Trace around are glitched out a bit, sticking up in the air behind him. <laughs> just put another call out like we normally do, just in case there's anything else nearby. There's nothing would have spooked. So are they retrievable, Bjorn, those rounds? Nope. Right. But hey, Lee. Lee, he's... Lee, he's over there. <laughs> him? You me? There he is. Not a big one. There we go, that's why we always put another call out straight away. Uh, right. that was not the one laying on the ground. Another person, <laughs> no, definitely wasn't. Another male red down there for you, Michael. Nice. I never actually picked up the call. Uh, I've marked him for you. Good job there, though, Bjorn. Good job. Yeah, thanks. I think that oh, could no, be a I third one it. as well, actually. I'll soon tell you, because I'll transfer... That's to on that. your marker. Oh, it's the same one. It's the same one. Sounds about the similar oh, sort of size. That hill just ahead of you there could be a good spot to set up. Very, very vocal. Not yeah. normally heard them... That, that's normally a small one if they call like that much. Yeah, until we see them. Oh my god, it's big. <laughs> yeah. Maybe at 5,000. What are you thinking, Michael? Try and sit on the <coughs> hill and shoot across to the other side? Yeah. Or do you want to go for that rock straight in front? Like on I don't the, think, on the brow? I think that rock straight in front is a bit too far. It's going to be coming up quite quickly. This little rock here I can set up on. I'm okay. just going to leave behind you, okay, guys? Yeah, I'm going to keep back out of the way as well. Yeah, I've got a good firing angle for me. Doesn't look like it from where I am. <laughs> as long as you're comfortable. <laughs> it's a technique I was taught by the Indians. It, it looks like the only thing keeping you on that rock is your penis. <laughs> it is. And if you get relaxed at any point... <laughs> hey, should you relax at any point, you're going to slip forwards. <laughs> going to take this shot? Down. <laughs> Barbara Streisand, damn it! <laughs> Just don't think of me mum, don't think of me mum. I can't sit here and watch these pair of legs just moving around in the air, I'm sorry. I've got to move to the side a little bit. What? 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 You what, mate? You what? What? <laughs> I 
he's still a little way down from that marker, even if he's halfway. see him either do you? No, I'll, he could come straight up this path. He could, I think we should maybe push forward a little bit. Yeah he is, he's about halfway between us and the marker. Actually more what? So he's about left. there. Yeah, I quite like this firing spot though, it gives me a good view of him coming in. Yeah that's cool. And then just as he comes over that brow in front of us, I'll get a good chest shot on him then. Especially seeing as it's going to be straight on. And according to my hunter mate, I'm completely blinding him, so... According to my hunter mate, I could pull any bloke in the area. I can't remember how you check that, Bjorn. E, Is and it? press up, camo view. E. 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 G. Def. Def. E. Got it? Yeah, all my surroundings are green and I'm sort of grey. Yeah, it's because you're in the um, you're in the B and C stuff, aren't you? No, I'm in the deer hunting. All right, yeah. It's um, basically it's good on all environments, so it doesn't give you a score on anything. All right. Any it's only the ones one? that are specialised come up. No, I can't see him yet. Communications, right? He's quite close. It's Sounds like he's got two feet. Just past that rock, I would have thought. His mark's there, so he's close. Should we get to this rock here myself? You want to see? Who he's behind. Oh, I see him. You see him? That big rock on the left, just as you go yep. up the hill, just to the right of it, between the yep. trees. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I see him. He's quite nice. He's not big. One seventy. To 225 kilo. I got a score of 130 well. to 220. I'm just going to back away yeah. slightly because I'm a little bit closer than I'd like to be for your shot. Saying 160 to 215. Yeah, I've got score. It's not coming up at the moment. 130 to 220 and 160 to 215 weight, yeah. 34 metres from me, so approximately 40 from you? Uh, about 30 from me. Thir 34 now. That's. He's asleep. That looked like a nice dramatic shot, actually. He's like. Nice clean kill. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice clean kill there. Good job. Thank you. I'll see if there's any females coming up behind him. Yeah, that's why. We're, like, what we normally do, as I say, is Bjorn, Michael and I will put another call out because nothing's been spooked. Could be something in the area, as there was with him as on the previous kill. You just never know. Where's Michael? There he is. Michael. Right, I can't see. Michael. Bjorn. Left. Left. Good yeah. job, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, well never gets old. That's not a bad rack on him. It's not actually. One five five. Yeah. I actually managed to get a nice clean through and through on him as well. I don't like to call the fox in this terrain unless unless they call out first. It can be a bit of a bugger to get a good shot on them. The thing with the clocks, like they move so fast and they're so skittish. Ideally you want to have some nice open ground around you, don't you? Yeah, if where possible. Should 
Should we stand up and just walk slowly down? We could do. We've had nothing call out yet. Usually crouch walk, but we can just head down there. I got me some tracks over here. What for, of your? I will tell you. Right here. Nice. Going your way. Do you want to follow? You should, you should see it on the left hand now. The the track. Oh yeah, I see it by that tree. You do a bit of tracking. Basically what you do, for those that haven't played the hunter before, you walk over to to it like Bjorn is with his with the hunter mate in your hand. You see the outline. There we can see that's footprints now. You click on it, it will give you a direction, but you can use your judgment as well if you're hunting quick and tracking quick. The two dots are the back of the footprint, so you know the animal is headed off in that direction. Give it a click, it tells you it's a red deer, it's roaming, and if you look on the tip of my arrow, you see there's a line there and a line there. The general rule is it's somewhere in between those two lines on the hunter mate is the direction you're heading in. If you turn and back and look off. at the track as well. That can vary. What I'll do is I'll just hang back and let the guys track this one. Got it, it's over here. So you, you can hunt alone, you can hunt in groups. We've been hunting together quite a long time now and we all play very similar as well so it seem, seems to just flow but um, it's a game you can just go off on your own for hours the, the maps are huge especially this one there's lots to explore I'm still finding things I've never been to before as well so. and there's your next track now they're as standard I believe they're red but I've changed the colour of mine to pink for no reason other than it's just a lot easier to spot in amongst green and occasionally there's red plants and things as well and where the pink arrow puts. And that. To do that, you go to your options, you go into your gameplay, and here where you've got track colour, you can change the colour that you want it to be there. So it's nice and easy. Up oh, beyond this rock. getting closer to it as well. You'll see on the hunter mate, as Michael just pointed out, now i pick the track up I can tell you, or show you, there's a faint dotted line around the map in a large circle. That shows that it's it's in the area. The closer you get to it, the thicker that line becomes and the smaller it becomes. And when you get it down to about where that red marker behind me is, that's when you've got to really stay alert. You can get attacked by animals, fox and uh, bear. I'm not sure. Coyote? I'm not sure what else. Um, moose? Pig. Uh, they can attack and kill you. Brown bear, black bear. We might as well tell the story of how Michael saved my life that day. <laughs> <laughs> I turned round, I was tabbed out, and I turned round, and about where Bjorn is from me, there was a bear about to attack me. <laughs> Nice look there, Bjorn. He's like, who me? <laughs> and um, where Michael is now, roughly, he took a shot and got the bear before it ripped my face off. So similar thing with the fox. I believe you got the fox midair when I it was did. jumping at me. So <laughs> that was nice. I mean, you can walk in this game. You can run in this game. The more you walk and run, the more you're going to spook animals. If you've got the patience, the best bet is what we're doing, or what you can see Bjorn doing <coughs> in front of me now, which is to just crouch and have, a, behind this big have rock a slow place. walk up the hill. Hello, new tracks. <coughs> Excuse me. 
the tracks Behind are, Bjorn. as you can tell from no, before. No, no, no. They're heading this that is way. Actual fox tracks. Oh, that one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a very good map for some quite nice views and things if you want to get in screenshots, which I am. Got a lovely one coming up here on the left lead. Yeah, you get some beautiful views. But it's all accessible map as well. If you can see a mountain 99% of the time, the side that you can see you can go up, especially on this map. Because on this one you can go right up, all the way to the top of there. And hunt mountain goat. Yeah, the Ibex, Alpine Ibex, which Bjorn's a bit of a pro at. He was on the leaderboard for a, a while as well. He did really well with that. I'm just good at climbing mountains. <coughs> Michael's our resident sniffer dog. <laughs> if you lose the track here, we'll find it. <laughs> Actually, a good area to give it another call, Michael. It would be, yeah. Uh, I mean, the might is down by the river now. According to my thingy, this poop is like 25, 15 minutes ago. So ah, right. Could be... It's quite a fair time, then. Far ahead. Sorry, Michael. Got a bit too close here. That's right. Yeah, if it goes up a mountain or out of bounds, I can still find the animal. Up behind this rock. Nice hunter score, Michael. 197 already. 197, really? Yeah, just just come up when I'm walk, walking behind you then. Good job. Nice, thank you. What's Bjorn's down? Bjorn's is quite high as well, isn't it? Alright, watch it here, guys, because I think we can slip down this one. Yeah, you can fall on this game and die, which is never good. Shall I show them? <laughs> no, no. I've got um, a, oh, our track's down here anyway. I've got a medikit. I don't have to have one. What I'm doing basically is I'm hanging back and letting Michael go first, because then if he dies, I don't need to. I forgot mine. Make sure I do actually have. Yeah, I do have many kits on me. Standing up. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Just to go down here. <clears throat> and a very good tip for players who are struggling sliding down while you're sliding, face the rock as fast as you can and run. Or laying down, yeah. if it's not too steep, laying down will help you as well. Helps slows you down. So if you basically you turn around and run back towards the rock, or try laying down and crawling towards it, you might just get that little bit of grip. I think this is going to be moving down towards the river. right here in front of me. <laughs> nice free fill, Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching you. I was not paying attention, I thought it was like slightly down, but hey. If you like to get photos and things as well, press the H key, it removes it. In fact, that's even there, look. You just press F12 and that captures you a nice little screenshot. Your tab key brings your hunter mate back up again. You press the number keys to switch through the items in your slots. Yeah, that's right. It's Bjorn showing you now. Number one and two, you can assign to a primary weapon. I do have some errors. And then usually it's sort of numbers five, six, seven, and eight. Will assign you to the coolers, oh. or, or in Bjorn's case, a rather nice-looking pistol. <laughs> <laughs> You bring up your weapon, you will need to reload it in my as in my case. You press the I key and then you drag the ammunition to the weapon itself. I think this one is gone, Michael. No? No, no, we're getting closer. I don't know whether to head down to the troll pods beyond and leave Michael to track that one. I don't know, he's like Would you be happy to do that, Michael? 
Yeah, sure. And we'll head down Bjorn and show him the tripods. Hey, Michael. Bjorn. Bye, Michael. <laughs> Mikey. See ya, bro. <laughs> See ya. Alright, we can head down here now. now we, pressing the, the M key brings up your map. Click on the map. Sets you a nice little waypoint, which then shows up on your hunter mate as your dot. So we know we're heading in that direction there. Let's stand up and have a little walk. Come back to me, bro. Michael, come back to me, bro. <laughs> Just go around the edge of this hill. Like so you can run by pressing the C key, but as far as you can see at the moment on my screen, there's a track there as well, we'll pick that up. Um, in this forest area, if there's an animal within up to that hill, it'll run. It'll just take off and run. So you're just going to make it harder for yourself. You've just got to be a bit patient. Red, uh, deer. red deer, very nice. And there's more down here. So we'll pick up this one. Mine is actually going towards the hill again. I'm not sure. I've got another one here the same animal. Now if you've got multiple tracks in the area, Oof. what you'll notice is those ones over there are just semicircles, just parts of a dome. <coughs> and then if it's for your animal, it'll be a solid, completely solid dome. Uh, Lee, the one you're facing now is 35 till 60 minutes ago. Yeah, it's coming, it's taking me up towards you now. Yeah. I think there's one behind that rock, isn't there? No. That's actually, yeah, you see it? The bush. Yeah, but it's telling me that way for that track. I think we might have a good chance to go to the river, though. Yeah, should we head straight down there? I think that's the best option. We'll just stand up and have a walk down. It's a nice day for a walk, Bjorn. Now, if you press the J key, what you can do is you can hold hands and skip merrily. That might have been a bit of a lie on that one. Plenty of tracks for that animal. You do get points for tracking. Levels up. I don't realize how high up you actually are on this. We're going to go right down to that river. There we the go. The higher your level on tracking, the more information you can gain from a track and the more accurate the direction is. Yeah, you can tell its weight, its age, its size, what it had for breakfast. Bjorn, I've got a female calling me down at the river. Uh, I just, didn't have it. Yeah, it called me a moment ago, just straight through. Now, females on some species don't get you any score or points. On some they do, but you're always better to try and find a male. But what you can find with a female, you'll get a group of three or four, and behind them usually is a male. Now the males do spook a lot easier. It's unconfirmed, but it's believed that the females do attract the males to you. Just gonna whoa. Got them. Yeah, I'll just just realise what I'm doing there. There, there we go. go. That's a male call, you see? A female calling, and there's a male red deer calling right next to her. That, that's yours? Oh, thanks. I might actually wait here, Bjorn, on this rock. Or is it a bit... It's a bit high, actually, isn't it? A bit, or is it okay? No, it's... Because the ground's probably 30, 20 metres from here, isn't it? If you can have the gun elevation, that will be perfect, because the first... Yeah, second that's... trees behind it's like... 40, For a rifle, 50? perfect, yeah. I'm just using the the bow weapon, so we know he's close, we might as well have a lay down. Plus, this is actually quite steep here. I have died off of smaller things. That's what she said. But it is. I'm landing again. Sounded like a medium one. The big ones, you get a, a really nice, nice long call. A huge set of antlers on. Yeah, if you two take that out and then get yourself to the troll pods, I'll set up above them somewhere. Once I find this one. Oh, that's a female? That's a female, yeah. I'm not going to pick that one up. Very close to me. 
Okay, I've got one moving up ahead in the forest. Female? Straight through, I'm not sure yet. Just give me a second, I'll confirm what it is. I'm laying down. You know, I'm getting a lot of road vehicles up here as well, so they're going to be heading down that way possibly. Yeah, it's a little female. The male is more off to the right, if I remember rightly. What I saw, she's a weight of 120, 170. I expect the male to be in this area here. Yeah, on the right hand. But you never do know. Should I give it another call, or are you going to do it? I'm just going to hold on a second. I don't. See, the problem is, you're going to. We're going to have to take the female out before, yeah. and we need it. Ideally, a nice clean shot because they will spook other animals. But if you take them down where there's nothing near like this. If you can take the parker because it's wider than the crossbow. Yeah, I've got a slight technical issue with that one. Oh. No ammo. I kind of left the ammo back at the camp. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to tell people about the uh, difference in weapons as well. One second, let me just sort this out. I'm going to try and get a nice clean shot. Perfect. Uh, she's down. It didn't. St it is a lot, a lot louder. This weapon, the Parker Python. It's my favourite weapon, and I can't actually believe that I left the ammo at the camp. I noticed earlier on when we was walking down, and I was like, yeah, you press this button, and I was like, okay, right, I've just spooked an animal. There goes the male. Quite a nice size as well. That, unfortunately, is what happens when you get distracted. I think he was probably worth tracking. It's annoying, but he, he won't run too far. He almost got the call there. Even you just got crouch. two options in that case. You can either sit still and hope he settles and calls back in, or you can try and track him down and then catch him as he's moving away. I mean, he was bigger than the other ones. Yeah. So I think I'm going to try and try and track him down. That's the thing. Even though I was crouch walking, you couldn't really see him. I should have laid still and called the rest in. But uh, it's easy well, to get distracted or, you know, get carried the away from Yeah. The animals respond to sight, sound and smell. So if you look like shit and smell like shit... You're gonna be You're shit. in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> gonna shoot shit. That's why they don't let me stay with them for long. Oh, that... That tracks the roaming, but that's coming in. I'm going to pick up that one there and see where that's going. I mean, I, I genuinely do think that one was probably worth following. If it's a small one, we just, you know, we just knock it on the head with a stick. There we go, there's some fleeing tracks. Nice. And again, there's that dotted circle which shows that he's reasonably nearby. Now, on the other side of the valley, through the river, because of my stupid sized screen, I can actually see him perched on the riverbank over there. See how he's, he's looking around guy. quite a lot? He's jerking around. Oh, level 6, deer spotting. It's because he's oh, on edge still. He's still a bit flighty, as they call it. And he will settle down. We can move towards him a little bit. And there he goes, he's calling out, so he's not too bad. Just to clarify, Lee plays on a 42 inch screen. <laughs> it's very rare I miss something. See, hold on. Yeah, that's actually changed the tracks there. Bjorn, I think that's a separate mail. So it's a good call to tell me to wait there. Oh my good lord. Over there, I've marked him. That's. <coughs> that's a. Uh, just got out of my rendering distance, but that's the kind of thing that you want to catch. That, I don't know if you had a chance to see that, but this one here now looks like a baby. That had a hell of a set of antlers on it. It's easily a 200. I think it could be the one I've been looking for for a few days. That case. And that is well worth tracking. Now there is one on the left there, Bjorn. Yep, not my dear. I believe the one. Oh, nice one. I believe the one that ran away was the one that's just gone off down that riverbank that I just spotted. Judging by the size, so we'll try and. Where was he? He was over there somewhere. We'll put a little marker. There he is. Come back into rendering now. That's a lovely 
lovely animal. Now that really is score 195 to 285. I've got him marked up over there, he's calling out. Do you see that one Bjorn? About 180 metres directly opposite me. Not yet. Okay, if you come to me, he's directly opposite, on just to the right of my marker. Now he's on my marker. That's a that's a very nice one indeed. Looking at the antlers, you can't really tell until you get side Whoa, on. Oh shit! <laughs> but that reaction there says that's not a bad deer at all. And that is a nice one. And that he's responding. Is a nice one. Now I have been trolled by this map for the last few visits very hard. Now bear in mind, me have two incoming. Yeah, is it, do you mind if I go for this one, Bjorn? Any objection? Uh, yeah, go for it, man. That feels sure. like, I, mean, I, I, I have it. an objection. No, 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 no. Hey, I was not thinking about it. I was looking to the left. He's running away. Yeah, so I don't yeah. know where that one went. But that one we've got responding to us now. I mean, that's a that's a nice size animal. Uh, the other one is basically humping the the mountain like they do. That is a nice. That's a nice score. That is a big one. I would have thought not. Massive, I reckon probably 230, 240, if I'm lucky. Uh, I'm just gonna get me some protection behind this rock. Actually, you know, the closer that gets, the bigger he actually looks. If you're able to see that, Michael, on the stream, that's probably worth a quick peek. I've got one coming in. I don't want to come out just in case. Is that one I've been tracking? He just called out to me. Nice. Now the the larger males are a bit more skittish and they will spook easier, so I wouldn't be surprised if this one doesn't just run away from me soon. But you never know. No, he's coming in. I'm just going to hold. Been on the ground. So. So what I normally do is I'll I'll have a look around. I'll gauge it really. If I can get him to that rock there, I know that's sort of 30 to probably 40 meters. So it's within the 30 and 40 meter range. I'm 50 away from you, so... Ooh, that is a nice one. Now that is nice. 190 until 240. I got 195 to 285, so it's probably a 220. So, yeah. I mean, a base, cool. I've had a curse of, of trying to get over a 115. I had a... One, uh, sorry, 215. I've had a 264 out of this map. Um, but ever since I've kind of struggled, really. I have if seen, you want... Sorry, Bill. If you want, I can go on them so you have a nice broadside shot. Can do. I want to see where he's going now because he's sort of reacting. Both of us. That's it's a beautiful animal just to watch. Even if he spooks, it's nice to see something like that. Because that's it. Uh, that is a nice one. It's not common to see them that big on here. It doesn't mean he's huge. It just means he's he's a nice score. He's a nice size, you know. The reckon with this noise. Yeah, he's coming in front of you, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna let him get a little bit closer. So I wanna make sure I got a good shot on him. There we go, he's down. Nice job. There's a fox calling Bjorn. Yep. Ah, I can see it. Oh, I'm gonna lay down again. Oh. I don't I don't see it. Across the river? I'll just lay still. Do you want me to call him? Already on it. <laughs> nice. This, if you can see my marker. Well, I'm not sure if he's incoming, yes or no. He was there. Okay. And in, in reply to the stream, so I'm currently streaming, um, we are just doing some recording, just some private recording at the moment. You guys are welcome to join us later on, but we're just doing some recording for YouTube. We're open to questions from the stream as well. Right, that's my mail then. Nice. Pick him up and I'm going to start heading back to Orchard. That's a nice red deer, Bjorn. Coming. Fox is incoming. Yep. 
right okay I'll, I'll just hold him until you've got him I'm not in a position to see him or interact at all so nice you see across the river yeah I'm in a dip <laughs> and hello Mick hello. by the way welcome to the stream mate hope you're doing well and thanks for shooting in to mine Mick Little tip, when you are moving around, if you're not tracking any animal in particular, pick up every track you see just to get your levels up. Oh, there's Bjorn's little fox. What a lovely little viewpoint I've got there to look at that fox. Actually, Bjorn, he's coming towards me, I think. I see he's going. Shall I harvest this one, or actually I better wait and... That's a nice set of antlers on that. Coming fast. No, folks. I'm sure I can hear something behind me then. Bjorn, you've got one coming at you from the left hand side. There's one on your left bank as well, I can see him. Walk at the same height as you, marked him. Yeah, that's a brown one. Alright, so I don't know what you want to do, but. That one's spooked. Is he spooked, is he? Yeah, the one in front. Try that one on your left. Mind you, he's going to be point blank before you can get a shot, surely. Oh, look at that. What a what a shot. What a photo. Got it. Down in one? Nope, he's still running. Oh, there but you go. Uh, there's, the, there's the tracer. Yep, you see it? Yeah, that's awesome. Huh? It really <laughs> is good. You cannot miss that. Going up the hill? Yeah, he's last seen there for me. Yeah, he's there, going up there. the hill? There he is. I'm still, still running? Yeah, that trace around though. Still running? I'm still marking him for you. He's coming back down, now I've lost him. Yeah, now he's out of rendering. Right. That was awesome. <laughs> do, you to, do you want to have a look at this deer? Yeah, we're not man, it's marked. See, that's what I like about these tracers. Even if they were coming back, you still know, like, that's mine. Yeah. I just let him run for a few, you know? So he will settle down and... I knew... I just had yeah, a feeling, no. Bjorn. I just had a feeling to put a call out about a male. And there's another one. Oh, there's that other one. And this one's yours, Bjorn. See oh, I got a marker set for it. Okay, I'll mark him for you. Yeah, that's not a bad one. That's that one came back from earlier. No, I got a marker set for the uh, fox. Yeah. 100 to 190, Bjorn. Oh, I see it. I'm just gonna harvest this one. Yeah, it looks nice, man. Yours it looks awesome. Whoa! Oh, that's, you got it. That's my personal best. Oh, hello. <laughs> that's, I'm happy with that. I am nice more job. than happy with that. Nice job. Thanks, guys. Uh -huh. Can I take a quick trophy shot? Uh, you need to take a trophy shot. <laughs> yeah, but I'm thinking of spooking your one. I don't care. <laughs> I'll just lay. It, I'll just sit still. You can get your one. No, do it, man. Do it. Take it, take, That's take only the 10 shot. points off the leaderboard. Really? Yep. Oh. It felt like a good one. Hello. Take the trophy shot, I'm gonna call this deer in. Maybe right, you I'm, will. I'm trying. And if the deer is welcoming, maybe he will go in the trophy shot as well. Yeah. <laughs> <Shit. laughs> bombed. I got waylaid, I don't know if a male call out to me on the way in. And clipped him in the lung. I kinda I kinda, oh, sorry, I kinda like the way the fox is running to. It's actually the way to the troll pots. Bjorn, have you got that deer yet? I oh, know I see. Oh. I kinda want you in this trophy shot because we've got this together. Oh cool. See if you can sneak round and stand on my left. Look at the, look at the antlers on this thing. That's it. Uh, you kind of looks like you're floating to me. Oh, if you stand, whoa! Where did he go? There, there. <laughs> oh no, you've disappeared behind me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he going to take a shot while I'm doing my track? Oh my god! Trophy shot of the that's century. Another one, that's another one. That's a different one. Bjorn. Yeah. Take the shot. Take the shot. It's going to be in my trophy shot. <laughs> yes. Down. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Everyone on the stream, you're in for a treat. Let's put it that way. Because that, my friends, that is a trophy shot you will not see anywhere else. Me with a dead deer with Bjorn pulling his weapon and shooting his one. I mean, come on. Just looking I'm not going to have that as my trophy shot, Bjorn. Okay, we've got the third one incoming. Okay, Bjorn, come and stand next to me because I want to get that shot that I had lined up. But that was a hell of a shot, I've just took the screenshot. Left side or...? That's it, that's it, I'll do. Well, I'm going right. to do this because... Look, look to your right a bit. That's it, up a bit, right a bit. The other right, Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. it. Yeah, up a little bit. Hold on. Say yes? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah? Yeah, go. Oh, I didn't <laughs> see your thumbs up because it's behind a bush. I've got it anyway, we need to get that other one. Nice shot, man. That's awesome. a, a hell That's of a trophy big, shot, big. that, man. I told you it was a good one. I told you. Oh, look at that, guys. Guys and gals, look at that rainbow. Now, how nice is, how nice is that? Bjorn, stand on that ridge in front of you, quick. Yeah, there's a deer across the river as well. Move forward a bit. I see the deer. Right, stop there, Bjorn. Just got a nice little screenshot of Bjorn there. With a rainbow behind him. <laughs> it's not working for some reason. There we go, it's just took it. I can see him, Bill, can you see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice one, that I just got, though. I'm really pleased with that. Come on, take it. You need to go and collect your... I don't know. I mean, look at this game. You know, nice, almost panoramic view. F12, take a screenshot. Beautiful. Hello. Bloody hell, that's not a bad score for the size of that. <laughs> There's a baby one up the river there, you see. I mean, part of the reason I'm so pleased about that deer, I've been getting trolled by these for the last, what, six hours of visits on this map? More than that. It's just been trolling me and trolling me and trolling me. So it's nice to not only finally beat my 215, but that's a personal best for me. So I'm very pleased with that. Just want to wait with my trophy shot here, yeah, because I still know where my box went, yeah? Yeah. But I'm kind of waiting if that red deer is coming closer so I can take a shot, a uh, trophy shot with it then. <laughs> nice. Well, this one went a long way on a long shot. This one scores 70 to 160. <laughs> wow. Well, you, you know, you get some big, you get some small. Indeed. I'm also happy that, that but, was while streaming and recording. <laughs> box. Got the Did you get that cool, Bjorn? Box? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm waiting for the screenshot. So that red deer is closed now. Do you want me yeah? to back up? And then that red deer there, you can kill him on top of that one. Oh, take it. I've done that a few times, <laughs> end up with them side by side. You sure? Yeah, take it, man. That fox is right in front of me, Bjorn. Take it, Michael. You sure? 100%, because I still need to chase mine. I love hunting with a bow, you see. I like to get them in nice and close. You don't spook anything. You can take them down, and then there's still animals in the area so other people can hunt. Well, I got a screenshot. Biff. Now, there's some kind of bug there, because unless I'm mistaken, that's just put a glowing red round into that deer. And I don't have those rounds, but Bjorn does. Now, the end of that was glowing red, Bjorn, until I got here. Yeah, that's kind of a bug, because mine was still, you know? Yeah, it's definitely a bug, because my rounds are green. Yeah, the ends of mine are green, and that's showing as, a, as a, a glowing red one, so there you go. Yeah, but now I can stop using those glowies because the the fog is gone. Yeah. 92. That's basically, <laughs> that's basically why I use them, the glowy ones. If the fog, the fog is like that thick. Yeah. But with the fox, you can still chase them wherever it's going to. Now, shall we 
head down to, to the troll pods or up into the valley. You can go. You can go. I still need to chase my fox, remember? Oh yeah. Do you want me to come with you or? I don't mind man. I'll just go. Let's go. Oh, there's another one. Did you get that call? That's a, that's a female. Yeah. But I think Michael's on that one. No? No, she's the other side of the river. Oh. Come on, get yourself a fox. I don't know, man. I don't know. I've not got a good track record with foxes until, unless I'm in the troll pod. And that's, mind you, that one the other day was, what, a 28.4? 28.1? Yeah, that was a good one, that. That was a nice fox. It's pure in position. A bit of rock glittery there. Am I pushing you off? I'm sorry. Oops. I'm, I'm glitching a rock. Oh, there she is, on the left side of the left. On the left side. On one? There she is. Oh yeah, coming yeah. out in the river. That's yours. You can have that one on your side. Oh, you can take it. I'll be back in 25 minutes. Apparently that was a testing shot on that fox. <laughs> Ooh. Bjorn, you've definitely got a better shot of this one if you want it. I'll get some when I'm up at the pod. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. You're a bit closer to it, so it will spook earlier. I can't believe I forgot my ammunition, though. Where are you going to, man? Look where it is. Where? Left side. Look. Oh, shit. That's close. What the hell? That was a nice shot. Uh, oh, good I, luck tracking those two. <laughs> I think my bolt actually went through it. Nice. Yeah. But through and out the other side? Yeah. And that's a intestine chunk. Michael. Join the club. <laughs> yeah, and I still got this other fox to, to chase. I'd leave that intestine shot one, because it's a female anyway. Prioritise the other one, Bjorn. Yeah. Let me check. I know it's over there. Maybe this one is the fox I first shot, because that one looks a little bit better, you know? Yeah, that one was a body shot, and I got the, the track for it now. So, let me mark this one over here. Got a male red fox up here, but I'm not even going to try for that one. Alrighty. See you, in... <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind Don't of. Don't forget to take provisions. Right, when he gets close to Lee, I'll go and find him. Yeah. I'm going to try and call this fox in, but it's not going to end well. I'm too exposed to get a sneak on it. Ah, here's my fox. Didn't go too far. Oh, well, Michael, if you see mine. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's gonna happen, Ma Lee. What's that? No? Michael was like, mm, yep, there he is. <laughs> Got it, here it is. <laughs> and your other one. I will be surprised if you get the other one. I can find all of them. Yeah, I still I have the marker. Just give me one, on. one confirmed track and I'll find it. Yeah, you, you saw, you see the marker? 
Um, oh, you're not until I get close to it, I think. No, the red one, on the map. That's for the other track. Yeah, I don't see it. I have to get close to it to see it on my hunt meet rather than the map. And I think you're pink on mine, one sec. No, you're yellow. Yeah, I see it. If you want, I'll go and pick that one up for you. No, I don't mind. I mean, I'm still looking for this one, so... I knew she wasn't alone. Three females, so there could be a male behind them somewhere. Oh, I got it. Nice. nice. Yeah, I'm just heading straight towards it as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a nice shiny one though. So we're going to head back towards the troll pods once you finish with that one, Luke? Yeah, I'm, I'm working my way down the river. But there's a uh, few females between me and there. I've got a feeling there's a male in the woods there somewhere, I've just seen... Oh, now I can go to my first track again. A couple more females, I if think. If you want, I'll get that one for you. You meet back up with Lee. I don't mind, man. It's going towards Lee, actually. Because I saw the fleeing on the mountain, down the mountain. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Another good one. One, two, three, four, five, six females and a big male. There you go. Ooh. He's not huge. I don't know. He's 120 to 210. I don't know. He's got six females. He's got to be pretty big. Yeah, I'm thinking that. I still think there's something in those woods. Now, Either two that, females have disappeared. Uses and well, it's almost midnight for me, so you know what that means? Uh, almost Dalibus. midnight. It is boss <laughs> midnight. Leffer. No. Oh. It's tomorrow? Martini. It's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's tomorrow. <laughs> Martini. Uh, Martini extra dry. Now I have just lost a couple of females. I went down in that dip and I haven't seen them again and now some more. So what I'm hoping is I can go... So that male's a lot further up river. He always thinks... He always thinks Latha. Latha, Latha, Latha. They're not... They're not responding to my call because they was out of range. So I can mark him and worry about him afterwards. I've got some females here. Now they're my priority. There's a fox right next to me. The females are my priority because they'll spook. They'll spook the male. No. Exactly. Michael, you're on seven. What's up? You're a 65 meters from each other. You can walk yeah. hand in hand if you want. If yes. you, are you guys anywhere near Lovely. me? 250 out almost. If you could get here, we could take them all down. Nah. We're sort of coming in towards where you're looking as well. Yeah, the female is just calling. <laughs> on the left hand of you. I've got a group of four moving away from me. That's one male, three females. I've got four females on my left. Oh no, there's, there's now two. Oh, brilliant. Two roe deer as well now joined in the fun. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. There's about nine animals just Eddie's in front of me. There. A giant bear's going to walk behind you with a baseball bat. We'll be looking for you, mate. There's a fox to my left, so there's nine or ten animals within 20 metres, 30 metres. Maybe it's 50 metres for those ones. That one will go on the stream. A uh, hundred odd metres up the stream, up the river. Yeah, if I had the Parker Python, I'd. I'd be Whoa. saying challenge accepted, that fucking fox. That's a female. I'm coming close to my track. Any money? Now there's this group of females right in front of me. And the roe deer. You know what happens here, the roe deer is going to spook and 
Doesn't matter where that red there is, it'll run straight past the front of it. The dude says, Bjorn, I need to get your help. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, you know that group that was nearby? Yeah. There was at least eight animals in that group. Wow. When, I, when you watch, oh, you won't see it on the stream, you have to watch it later. When I spooked them then, there was loads more in that forest than I thought. And oh, I like to see now on the stream. Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, the ones down river haven't spooked yet, but the female is running down there, one of the females, typically. But she's on the other side of the river. So I think my mouth's still on. He's and according to Dude, you can have a very good hunt on this map. Or, like you are saying, can be a very tricky one. Yeah, it can be the best or the worst that you've ever had. I had one oh, day. What a hit, Bjorn. Yeah, I know. I had one day hunting on Voldemort. No red deer. The only thing I saw was brown deer. Yeah? All the time. I had it once, all I saw was Ibex. <laughs> Even down here? Yeah. Got a tree not They were just right in the lodge. What I'm trying to do now is push down here and get that male to come back around that cove. That would be yeah, nice. I've seen a couple of people, actually, killing Ibex near the, the lakeside as well. Surprisingly, you know. Imagine if they get spooked then, it's possible. There he is, there he is. So that worked out alright, I've spooked the group off, they've gone off through the woods. And the male is just up ahead of the river responding, I think, to this call. So that's not bad, if I can get him, and then that'll be a basic rundown, we'll, we'll call that a day there, because I've got to I've got to go out in a moment anyway, about 15 minutes. That time has flown by. It really has. This will be one that I probably sit in bed and watch when it's on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's not a bad mind. male. Yeah, I see it. Try to call then for you. In fact, is that the same one or is that slightly bigger? Not responding now. I think that might be a slightly different one. I'm sure the other one was a bit smaller than that. Although I might be wrong. He's also got some bloody females with him. Do I go wide and risk it? Or do I try and pick them off and spook him? Which you think is going to be the most beneficial? Uh, probably going wide is going to get me in trouble. Well, Michael, the thing is, he knows we are here. He has. Which is also 80 meters away. He has got three females with him that are all in front of him. I don't know if to try a long range, just tag him. If I can hold up here, because they're they're going over there. If I can hold up here, long enough for him to catch the females up. I'll be in with a, a chance. Uh, she's about to speak. She's so. coming in. Yeah, I'm going to lay down. All yours, Michael. Cheers. Give me a range on it. I can't. I've got to take this female. If I, if I stand up, she'll spook. I've got to take a, either a long range on the male or, or take the female. Sod it. Left off me now. You only live once, right? Oh, you're joking me, there's another big male. In fact, really? That's another big male coming over. They've just ran straight past him without even spooking him. This is a very good hunt today. Very good. Michael, nice shot. She shot and run far. That was a nice shot. She walked all the way around there. All the way around? Yeah. That, that was very close. I've got a bit of a ramber deer here, guys. Literally, they've all spooked past him and he's gone, fuck it, and just carried on walking at me. He's not yeah, even I'm that sure. big, but he's he's a reasonable, I'd say a 180. So it's nice. 90, 95 to 185, so 
Yeah, she's going left on the hill, Michael, for you. I think she's just there, dead, behind that tree. Now that's about as close as I want him to get when I'm laying on the floor right in front of him. <laughs> oh yeah. Probably 20 metres away. Is that yours or...? Yeah, that's my one. Sure? Yeah. Now he's down, I can get him, and then I can see where I tagged that other one, which is probably just going to be, unfortunately, a random oh, body shot. Thank you. Let's pick this oh, little one up. Feels very close, man. Whoa. Now, back to the search for mine. There's a, a hell of a lot of animals down here, guys. There is, isn't there? In this area, it's very, very good today. I got another fox coming in. I got roe deer, male roe deer. That group of about seven or eight that took off. All I'll do is figure out which which track was the one I shot him at. I believe it was more over there, actually. Oh, look at these tracks now. It's a roaming shot, right? Oh, yes. should be close by then. Body? No, he took off this way, but I'm not... Radio tracks. No, I'm seeing no blood at all, I so... I can see her, she should save you. I think I might have even missed that one, guys. However, that's another oh, male red deer calling no, me. No, no, no. Go back, because I paid a call. Michael? Yeah. Another road deer, you said. Another male red deer calling from on top of the tripod. Deer. Mate, honestly, oh, nice. we need to... It's a shame I've got to go out in a minute. It genuinely yeah, is, because this is probably the best... The best hunt I've well, had on the road. put it on hold until you get back. Yeah, just lay it on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you guys can carry on. I can just sit in the troll pod because it huh? really is that good. Turning from body to roaming, Michael. And I'll yeah, we'll do. She would have settled, getting ready to die. I'll pause the recording. There's another one there. Uh, pause the recording and then carry on when we get back. Indeed. Two parter. I can just upload it while I'm out. It'll be done by the time I get back. Well, it'll be done in 10 minutes. <laughs> I think this last track lied to us, Bjorn. I think she might have taken a right. Oh, I see it. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yep. was right, it took a right. Happy New Year, Uber. And hello, Hunter Man Cam. How's the hey. quality, by the way? Happy New Year, man. Yay, Uber Cow Tea. Quick prop, star, happy new year, bro. You're now live on YouTube. <laughs> You're going to be in our recording. <laughs> Flip prop, star, makes it everywhere, doesn't it? It does, it does. Been a very good map. What's the time in game? About 10? 10. 10 to 9, let's all Let's get going. I want to see something. Lost. Yep. <coughs> oh, it's a baby one, Bjorn. Yeah, I know. But for some reason, it shows me two arrows in it. Yeah, it's a glitch for the game. Yeah. I think it's because we fired up foxes at a similar time. I was not taking a screenshot, I was just turning it around, you know, so I can <laughs> see if it was actually 
glowy arrow. You still there, Lee? Yeah, yeah, I've just got one about 30, 25, 30 metres from him, I'm just waiting for the shot. Oh, good, cheers, Uber. Uh, I was going to say, before we start recording, when you get back, you can go and get your arrows. It's not a bad idea at all. Yeah, because what is a hunt without arrows? Huh? Yeah, I know. I was it's coming down the hill and I was like, oh, they're so going to laugh. <laughs> I still like orange production. Hey, yeah. Well, uh, oh. really? That's uh, a female right behind you. I know, calling me while I'm harvesting this one. Hey. Yo. Uh. <laughs> what I'll do, guys, I'm just gonna straight line walk to the troll pod. Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, anyone who has watched this, Feel free to put them in the bottom of the YouTube and we'll get back to you. I'll also be putting a link in the YouTube um, description to our, our little community. We do welcome anybody. Uh, we just ask that you play fair and play nice. We don't allow people to be abusive. Oh, Michael, 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 stop, 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 stop. Right hand, right hand, look right hand. Sorry, Lee, sorry. That's no, cool, man, it's cool. Real right hand down the hill, mail. I'm just going to do what I should never do hill. and I'm going to sprint. To get out of the way, and then I can finish that off. I'm gonna move out the way, Bjorn, so you can get the shot. Uh, the female spooked. No. Oh. Yeah. He's coming in, Michael. Let take it. I can't even see him, dude. If you've got a shot, go for it. Anyway, Thank guys and you. girls of YouTube, I'm gonna end the video there. I will catch you all later. Thank you very much for watching. And um, this is the first one we've done in this series. And hopefully you guys want to come back and watch again. I can't thank you enough for your support and watching. Hopefully you've had some fun. Take care.